So now we are at Malta. Um, we are opening started two weeks ago. Last week we were digging uh, some Lithuanian soldiers from Soviet side, and uh, these small branches indicate the the border of the previous tree we dug. Is right here. Um, here we found 38 soldiers, prisoners of war, and uh, many of them were executed with, uh, uh, with a shot to the side of a cat. It seemed that uh, it was done in uh, 3D Gekon method, which he called Sardings method. You can Google it and it's a rather cruel way how, how people were exterminated. So, Dallas is checking what, what is underneath. Uh, as it is the center of the town, here uh, are some rubbish pits and among those rubbish pits we find uh, those mass graves. Here should be a, a pipeline somewhere right, right here and because of that pipeline that last grave was actually found now we are trying to get uh, to get to that place last time we didn't know who, who are these people we thought those could be Jews massacred because uh, here in this area, Jews were massacred as well, but uh, from the finds and uh, uh, from, from the age of, uh, of the bodies, we understood that these are not Jews, these are Soviet prisoners of war. Uh, then uh, there is a local man standing together with regular. the cellar of this building and um, there uh, in the white building and in the cellar of that building uh, some people were shot as well and that building was used as a, a police station Guys, by the way, leave comments and ask any questions, we will answer them live. Here Tal has just uh, found a leg bone, which was, uh, which was most likely disturbed by, uh, by the pipeline builders, because they just grabbed, grabbed them out, and only then they understood that those are human remains, and then they called police. So. Some, some of the graves are already disturbed. Uh, but we will try to do as much as possible to recover them. directing a tractor to, to make a test sticks. Here are more like bones. So Thales sent the tractor to just just dig one trench to understand if there is something more. So 
varu parādīt to pagrabu par šādu sirdi. Jā. Jā, 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 jā. Another leg, but these were pulled out by the construction workers. Here the pipeline goes to where Talis stands and it continues straight here to that uh, sewage water well. And while building this pipeline they, they found those human remains. But uh, as they are construction workers, they missed a lot of them. And we find them all around here, the smaller and bigger bones. There definitely should be more soldiers underneath the pipeline. <laughs> Regina read a lot of books while uh, while waiting for this dig, and she says that that building was a police station back then. And the concentration camp where the poles were held was all this all this area. It was uh, it was a stalag. So, and all of this sand, you see here, it was, it was brought after the war, but it was like a uh, wally here by the river, and in this wally, uh, the prisoners of war were held. Before the war, there was a marketplace. And now we are going to the place where uh, during several nights were killed all of the Jews of Malta. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately they were killed by uh, local policemen, local collaborators, uh, local Latvian Nazi collaborators. And the same uh, unit was responsible for extermination of Jews in several other villages around here and as well as complete burning down and destruction of Aldrini village and killing all of the, all of the inhabitants of that village. All inhabitants, including uh, small children, women, old people, everybody were killed. And then uh, that village was burned down completely. And it was done to them because they were hiding uh, uh, Soviet soldiers in the village. То есть не под зданием, а именно вот. So they were taking out people out of police station and bringing them down here to this cellar and killing them here. They were getting them naked, taking four of them, bringing down in the cellar and uh, shooting them. And afterwards they were buried somewhere in this area. No one knows the exact place. 
Немцы понимали уже, что они проигрывают войну, и им надо было отступать. But in 1944, when Germans understood that they are losing the war, and they had to retreat, uh, they brought here the crematorium, the, the mobile crematorium. And they dug out all of those uh, killed Jews and burned them. And here is, a, here is a monument for those Jews. It was uh, built uh, rather recently. In memory of Jews of Malta who had been murdered here by the local policemen, the voluntary collaborators of the Nazi occupants in September of 1941. We have a very gruesome history of our country. A lot of wars went through through this territory. Uh, Malta was a specific village, uh, they also called it a Jewish village. Здесь было очень много евреев, и, как сказал местный житель только что, все каменные здания в этом городе принадлежали когда-то евреям. And, uh, Сейчас евреев здесь практически нет. Uh, Malta was a rather specific village. It was even called by locals uh, a Jew village. And one of the local guys uh, who went here to speak with us, he said that all of the stone buildings in this village were built and owned by Jews. Wooden buildings were, were owned by other nationalities, but stone buildings were almost exclusively Jewish. And uh, nowadays there are no Jews at all in Malta. And then uh, the same guy told that this building had a cellar uh, which uh, which windows were visible, but now as the ground level is uh, raised, those windows are not visible. Ah, они были в подвале сами, а военнопленные снаружи. So, and by the local legend, in this building was uh, administration of uh, prisoners of war camp, and uh, when they were shooting the prisoners of war, they were themselves in a cellar, and they were bringing uh, prisoners of war. Prisoners of war out of, uh, out of the building and they were themselves standing in a cellar and shooting them. And uh, up to 1940 it was uh, a building of ICERGI organization, it was uh, like Latvian National Guard. And, uh, and now this is a town hall. And in Soviet times, among these uh, pine trees, was made uh, uh, a place for dances, like a, a dancing square. And uh, the history teacher was telling. Uh, children that uh, you are dancing on bones, that uh, there should be some, some graves underneath, and uh, those should be uh, remains of prisoners of war. So 
So now we are digging a ditch to check if there are any more mass graves in this area. We know that uh, the mass grave continues here under the pipeline, but we will do that in the end. You said that, sir. No, no, But field. Robi, you know, so telephone for that. So I see it. So I see it, Slinko. Ah, it's well nice, Silas. No, I'm going to get a Slinko to the parade. Guys, maybe someone can tell me uh, in the comments uh, how good is video quality. Is it good or is it bad? Because I cannot tell it myself. Priedi, jā, tā ir tālu. Jā, tā ir jābūt priedi. And as usually, as we are digging in a, in a town, there are some rubbish, which we see in the moment, some, some rubbish. Such rubbish bits could be on top of a mass grave as well. That won't be anything uncommon. So Talis says there is a, a mixed ground someone was digging there, but he cannot get there with a the shovel. So tractor will change change its position. Uh, and uh, yeah, the tractor will change position and try to dig deeper in that place. See some some rubbish from. Ciao Roli, mēs, mēs šobrīd vēl neko mums gājām, mēs tikai, tikai sākām, bet nu kā zinu, pagājušajā reizē bija, bija daudz vairāk. Guys who are watching, please uh, share the video because we are trying to build up uh, audiences on uh, on YouTube uh, because it seems to be more perspective than uh, than Facebook for live streams. As you see, there is some. Um, some coal dust from uh, from stoves and some other rubbish, which is common when you dig uh, in the middle of the town. Yeah, so 
super. To je ojky, je? A, to vypije, je? Super. Evo, kas tas pa dzelze, paskaties? Tā ir truba. So they found some big piece of iron and it seems to be old sewage, sewage water pipe. And Talis has found another piece of pipe. Robi, ieliec varbūt arī kā atsevišķu polstu. For the guys who recently connected, we are in, uh, in a small village called Malta in the uh, eastern part of Latvia. And uh, two weeks ago, we, we were digging here a uh, Soviet prisoner of war mass grave. And uh, we know that here should be more. Today, we are trying to find, find them. At the moment we have no luck, but we are working on it for 20 minutes. Tu vari telegramā attaicīt bildes, kuras no iepriekšējās bildes. So, guys, while uh, the tractor is cleaning up the, the place, I'll show you photos from, uh, from the last time when we were here. Just a moment, open them up. Yeah, so uh, Sudi, so 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 Jā, tev kaut kā atspīt. Možeš atkrīt Telegram fotkinēcī?
Нет туда? А, ну ладно, тогда ничего. Okay guys, unfortunately the the screen of the phone has uh, too much glare uh, and we won't be able to show photos but uh, you can go on our Facebook page and take a look uh, in, uh, in the last post. Uh, you will see a few photos from uh, from the mass grave. This mass grave was, uh, was rather unusual for us because uh, uh, it seemed that uh, some of the prisoners of war were shot while being already in the mass grave in similar way how uh, Jews were killed uh, in several places in Latvia and uh, it was very very gruesome experience for us because we have not, not seen anything like that before uh, it seemed that they were just placed uh, in a mass grave uh, laying on stomachs on top of uh, other bodies already and uh, uh, as they didn't want to put the face uh, on, uh, on on the dead bodies they uh, they looked away they put the face on the side and that's why they were shot in the side of the head and uh, we have found many uh, many people here killed in that way and they were found here in several layers last time uh, Last time I had to cut uh, the, the live stream sooner than uh, than we wanted to because Talis asked me to help with digging. We were only four or five of us, so yeah, I had to help to uh, to finish the job before the darkness, and we managed to recover 38 uh, prisoners of war two weeks ago from this place right away is uh, the pile of, uh, of rubbish here and uh, from information we have uh, here should here could be up to 350 more uh, prisoners of war buried somewhere in this area so we are trying to find them because it's not like not a good thing to, to have a cemetery under your parking lot or, or in a park by, you know, by the town hall. That's not, not the right thing to do. So, they are fixing it. Sally? What a like a tractor, Rocks Trubora? So the situation is like that, that uh, we know that here goes sewage water pipeline, but uh, the, there is some uh, there is some problem that. Uh, not all local authorities agreed on that we can dig under the, the pipe. They need to still make some paperwork. And, uh, and yeah, these, uh, these three branches indicate where more soldiers are. And they are right under the pipeline. So, We'll go back here for sure uh, another time because uh, we'll not leave them, we'll find them. And uh, uh, here's a question, uh, where we are in Malta Center? So, uh, possibly you are searching the wrong Malta. We are not in uh, Mediterranean, we are in uh, Northern Europe, in Latvia. In, in the eastern part of Latvia. Search for Malta, Latvia. And then you will see where we are.
Okay, then uh, we are in Malta, right beside the town folk. You should be able to see it from uh, from the Google Earth between a small river and the town folk. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, we got additional information that, uh, as we know, here were killed uh, approximately 400 prisoners of war, and uh, the main uh, burial pit should be somewhere where those uh, barns are yeah. built. Most no, likely they are no, still under the barn. Uh, but, uh, but from that, uh, that pit, uh, the bodies were excavated by Germans in 1944 and burned in a crematorium. So it seems that uh, this pit, uh, which we dug uh, two weeks ago, was uh, one of the earliest burials on this site uh, because in 1941 uh, Germans were uh, filtrating and uh, they called it like cleaning out the prisoners of war from uh, commissars, communists and Jews they were uh, shooting them uh, immediately most likely that I did the same thing. And they were killing the ones which tried to, to flee. Approximately one meter, which we cannot dig because of because of the pipe. But we will dig nearby and see what was there underneath. So for the ones who are just connected, we are in center of, of a village Malta in eastern part of Latvia and two weeks ago we were here to, to recover a mass grave of Soviet prisoners of war who were uh, executed by, by German troops here and uh, today we are continuing the search because uh, here should be more, more mass graves and uh, we hope to find them oh. Ready? Stop! So 
I spotted some some bone right there. Вот вперед, вперед, Олег, 20 сантиметров. Вниз. Ру рукой. Вот. Так, подожди, я сам подойду. Кусок кирпича, да, был? Uh, it seems that uh, it was just a part of a brick, which I thought that it could be a piece of bone. Pasties, tur izstāsts tā kā siena, bet dzīvi uzmūrēt. Tās ir vecā kanalizācijas sistēma. Te ir bijis vecā kanalizācijas sistēma. Reku, ir jaunā uzmūrēt. So, Talis says that uh, this is old uh, sewage water, uh, water system of this building. And he's digging to the side where when the soldiers were buried. Prisoners of war. We need to dig here extremely carefully because of the new pipeline which is installed because we have no permission yet to destroy it but uh, we are working on getting paperwork to, to be able to work underneath that pipe. Robbie. Paņem mašīnā vēl viens štirs. So Talis now is using a probe to to determine how deep uh, how deep are the remains. James, for, for your question about Russian authorities, uh, uh, most likely no, uh, no help at all from them. We are doing this for, by our own money. Um, if some people are helpful, if they uh, donate us something or they help us, then it's great. The local authorities uh, gave us the, the tractor because they uh, decided themselves that it's wrong to build anything on, uh, on human remains so they called us for help and they provided us tractor with uh, for the tractor driver and that is already uh, a big help for us because renting of such tractor per day will cost several hundred euros and uh, on sites like this, we, uh, we need tractor, we cannot do that with a uh, shovel. It's just too big amount of soil to move.
and yes, James, I would say that uh, unfortunately none of them will be identified. If any of them will be identified, that, uh, that would be a miracle. Uh, yes, the, the building is uh, called at the moment Kulhursland. Tev ikdienas darbs ir meža apsaimniekošana, jā? Jā, tev šeit. Alkohol drink. Jā, jā, jā. So, Tālis, Tālis daily job is forest administration. So Talis was bringing a pistol to, uh, to understand if there is something underneath, not to hit, hit some remains with the tractor. Here are bodies, right where those two guys are standing. But we cannot dig there because we have no permission to disturb the sewage water pipeline because they are right under the pipeline. And for James' question, how many people could be? interred in this area. You mean how many prisoners of war were held in this camp or how many died here? As uh, for how many were held here, I, I have no idea unfortunately, but uh, there is a stone uh, by, the, by the building uh, and they is told that uh, here should be buried 400, 400 prisoners of war who died or were killed in this whole camp. Yes, James, we, uh, one day we calculated that uh, there are still uh, about 100,000 uh, missing soldiers from both world wars in Latvia, still buried somewhere, not on the cemeteries. So, we still have a lot of jobs. And we are sure that uh, we'll not be able to do it during our lifetime just too much. And plus in some places it's, uh, it's very hard to find them.
the bad uh, uh, dreams we have, we help them help uh, open our friends, mainly it's donations. And uh, if uh, if people can help us with uh, with any donation, that's that's very useful because we use a lot of money for fuel to travel around the country. Uh, to get here, we uh, we travel more than 200 kilometers. We found uh, we found all of this from our own uh, from our own pockets. Uh, Darren, yes, it, uh, such job is done in uh, in almost every country where the war was, but uh, in different countries it's done different. Uh, in some countries uh, they get funding, in some they are not getting it. It depends on the country. Cik tu redzi? Redzi tur, kur nogriezta zāle, vot tā arī bija viņa. Uh, yes, same problem is in uh, in Belgium, or well, not in Belgium, but in Lithuania. Same as in Belgium. On any on any dig should be present archaeologist. But uh, luckily in Latvia that is not like that. We have very good relations with uh, archaeologists. When uh, when they find. Uh, Soldiers, they call us, and when we find uh, archaeological site, we call them. So it's a win-win situation for us. But uh, in other countries, it's different. And uh, Daniel, yes, you are right. Uh, at least one part of this. Uh, uh, of this mass grave from uh, from the last time was resembling the the famous uh, sardine packing fashion, which, which is very gruesome and cruel way of killing people. Šeita izrakstā, tagad. Now we will dig a test, test ditch here, <coughs> possibly there, there, not to disturb the trees, because if there is nothing underneath the trees, it's no point uh, killing them.
Ja, pirmsi jāņiem. Nedēļa pirms jāņem. Kur ir sodi šitā? Sodi? Nē. Kur ir sodi? Roka, roka. Tu ir uras? Tā. A, kur ir sodi? Yes, I understand that about the, the Roman sites when uh, when you needed a ground radar and scanners and a lot of a lot of different methods. But uh, the thing is, uh, many people uh, don't understand that we have different goals than uh, archaeologists have. Uh, most of the time, context is not not so important for us because it will not help uh, identifying that. When uh, those mass graves were, were made, no one was keeping records of uh, how many and uh, how the, the prisoners of war were buried, for example. The only thing which, uh, which helps us is uh, uh, identification material, which is which is dog tag or a wood, sometimes some French art item with a name inscribed, but uh, otherwise most of the archaeological methods have no use for us and uh, they just require much more funding and much more time to do that. If we would do uh, in uh, in full uh, full archaeological manner, then we won't be able to recover thousand soldiers per year, but we would be able to recover ten soldiers per year. That's uh, it's a completely different situation then. And our main goal is to uh, to recover the soldiers and identify them while there are still people alive who, who remember them. Uh, their uh, children, sometimes their brothers, sisters, wives. Uh, that's what's, uh, what's important. Those people who we recover are the most important for them. Not to some uh, history books or anything like that. start another test dig here. Uh, James, uh, that's rather, rather easy to, to answer, at least here. 
uh, archaeologists are interested in stuff which is 200 and more years old and uh, anything uh, before uh, 1700 is considered uh, uh, archaeological uh, archaeological monument and, uh, property of the government as far as I understand but uh, we are concerned only about things first and second world war and independence war so it's different archaeologists are not interested in that stuff and we are not interested in the things which archaeologists are interested in so we have no uh, no interest conflict this chap We told to archaeologists in uh, Africa that if they want to participate in some of our digs we can leave for them some part of the site and they can use their methods and maybe learn something from us, we may learn something, something from them. Uh, we are open for, for such ideas, that uh, won't be a problem. I agree that while uh, digging the, the trenches and bunkers from First and Second World War you can learn some things which are not written in uh, history books or memoirs, but uh, uh, there is the thing that uh, uh, if we will do as it was done uh, on, uh, on the Battle of the Somme documentary, then uh, it will take us ages to do that. For World War One, it's not that important to do that quickly, but for World War Two, it's still important to do that quickly because people who remember uh, those soldiers are being in their uh, 80s and 90s, so uh, they will not be here for long. Это же латвийский. А то это шпоги. Шпоги? Шпоги. 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 For me, no. Uh, well, in cutting no? forest, uh, they were not using sardines uh, packing method. Uh, the sardines method, for example, was used in uh, Beterniaki forest in uh, Latvia. It was the thing uh, introduced by Friedrich Jekyll, uh, the highest chief of uh, SS and police in, uh, in Oslo. As far as I, uh, I have read about cutting, uh, the poles were shot in the back of the head, uh, outside the uh, uh, the, the mass grave and then they were thrown in the mass grave but uh, Sardine's method 
was when a layer of people were put, uh, put in a pit, uh, faces down, they were shot from one side of the pit and then back of the cup, then the another layer with uh, heads in another direction was placed on top of the bodies, shot from another side, and then more and more and more layers like that. It was a little bit different than in cutting forest. From, uh, from places I know for sure, uh, the Sarvain's method was used in, uh, in Bitternik and Rumbula forest massacres. You can Google it and uh, there are some, uh, some good read on uh, Wikipedia about, uh, about those massacres. has found some Soviet towns. Medicine bottles? No, it's from the Soviet I didn't really understood you, but uh, the thing is what uh, what we do right now. We dig uh, with a tractor to understand if there is mixed ground. You can uh, you can see differences in the ground which was disturbed previously, or uh, the ground which was not disturbed for thousands of years. Uh, they uh, they look different. And uh, if the ground is disturbed, then we dig deeper and uh, possibly find something. So such, uh, such test ditches uh, are the most effective way how to, uh, how to understand if there is something or if there is nothing. Alice is now discussing uh, 
where and how to bury those, uh, those guys who were found. Most likely they will be uh, buried on, uh, on a uh, close Soviet war cemetery. Dále jít koukat tě děl sákět. Darren, it's rather frustrating that we cannot finish our job under the pipeline, but uh, we are hoping that uh, the local authorities will make the paperwork we need and uh, we will be able to finish it. For the ones who just connected, you can see here from the name which we found. Those were disturbed when the new pipeline uh, was built and uh, police just missed them in, uh, in a pit, not in, in a pit, but in a sand pile uh, from the construction. Because before us, police arrived here and uh, they did that in a little bit different way. Now we cover this test. There's a ditch, and we dig another one nearby. Oh, machine! place uh, but uh, we were called by local authorities when they were building the pipeline and uh, they just hit hit the bones uh, that's why we, we went here two weeks ago or three weeks ago uh, and uh, then we investigated this place and uh, we found 38 more uh, more bodies and uh, some some bodies are still in uh, in the police we'll be getting them afterwards and we need to recover the ones which are under the pipeline and check all of this uh, area if here are some more Need to make sure that this area is empty and we won't need to go back here another time. Uh, Daniel, I think that uh, most likely they were all captured in 1941 when uh, Soviet troops were rather rapidly retreating from Latvia. And uh, the retreat was rather chaotic, uh, troops were losing their commanders, they had uh, big communication problems and uh, many units were encircled and without commanders and without uh, ammunition <coughs> or food 
and they had no other choice as to surrender. Nineteen forty one on uh, the Eastern Front was very chaotic for uh, for the Soviet troops. As you see the top layer of soil is full of full of different rubbish and coal dust. I think not coal dust, but it's more correctly called flinters. Uh, the thing which is left after the coal is burned down. Or ashes. I don't know how it's correctly. Yes, Daniel, actually your question was where the Poles were captured. Uh, I don't remember if I answered it. And, uh, most likely just surrounding area, some 10, maybe 15 kilometers around this place. Maybe more. But I don't think that uh, the distance was longer than uh, you can easily walk uh, in one day. Daniel, I didn't understand you. What do you mean by uh, no ammunition? Uh, no, Darren. Uh, this this whole area, this field, it was a pole camp. This all was territory of a pole camp, and uh, this was administration building of a pole camp. So they were not killed on the road, as I uh, told previously, most likely those which were executed were either the ones who tried to run away or uh, soldiers of uh, Jewish nationality or communists or commissars. That was a common thing in 1941 to execute that kind of soldiers immediately. Uh, many of them even didn't didn't get to the prison camps.
Daniel's question when the Soviets were retreating, it was uh, June, July 1941, so very early part of the war on Eastern Front. And uh, for another question, uh, how much of this area we are going to dig? We are going as much as possible. We are going to dig as much as possible. And uh, to be sure that we, we will not miss the, the, any massacre or something like that. Regiņu no kaut kurienas teica, ka zem tiem šķūņiem ir kā lielā bedra. Nu tā, tas obs teica, ka kāds krematūri. Nē, nu šķūnos neaugsim, jā. Bet, nu, es domāju, ka tās tādas vietējās leģendas vairāk. Nu, jā. Tāpat kā te arī teica, ka te, te kur tas deju plāks, jā. Nu, tur nekā nav. So for Darren's question, uh, this big building is uh, a toll hall nowadays. And uh, Michael's question why we are not using probes to find bodies because the area is too big and we have a tractor. Uh, it is uh, much more useful just to take off the top layer and to understand where the mixed ground is. I mean, interesting approach to safety around moving uh, plant and trenches. Uh, you think that that uh, uh, that some some more safety uh, safety things should be involved? That we have to use helmets and yellow vests. Just explain it. Uh, it's interesting for me. Yes, Darren, you have not seen how our construction workers work sometimes. If your health and safety is on a good level comparing to some places. Yes, I understand that uh, health and safety here could be on a higher level, but uh, luckily during uh, 20 years of uh, doing this job, no one was injured. When we were digging uh, German Junkers 88 airplane, uh, one guy was stuck in the mud uh, up to his waist, and 
guess the, the best idea was to just dig him out with a tractor like this. Um, it was successful, the guy was not injured. I think that was the, the biggest issue we ever had with uh, health and safety. Yeah, we have metal detectors on the side, but uh, they are not useful for finding uh, prisoners of war who were uh, buried naked. The bones don't give uh, metal signals, and few bullets and buttons uh, two meters deep will not give any signal either on any metal detector you have nowadays. Tom, yes, we, we have found uh, uh, pieces of two legs which, uh, which were missed by police before us. But uh, as for the mass graves, we have not found them yet. Uh, we have found them uh, uh, two weeks ago, right here when I, where I'm standing. We recovered 38 soldiers, and here are more marked by these uh, sticks. But they are under the pipeline, and we have not yet permission to uh, to dig under the pipeline. We still brought some spade this week. Spade is in this. It's good on zone. What did she tell us? No more. It's okay, but that will pass it. It will be very attractive. No, I'm fine. You can't stop it. It's not a bad guy. Nu rămâne în brau. Nu, ia, ia, stă, stă. Pălăi? Că au cur te vel rax, papildus? Uz to pusi, ne? Nu, nu, nu. Tad gaidam, ka dabūsim papīru. Jā. Pat citiem te, jā. Jā. Cik tālu nākamā vieta? Jā, tālu. Cik ļoti? 100 km. 100 km? Jā. Nu, lai ja nopietu? Nopietni? So for today this site is over, we had no success of finding uh, mass graves, uh, seems that, uh, that what locals said about, uh, about that place, that the, mo the biggest pit was under the, uh, those barns is correct, and that uh, those bodies were dug out by Germans in 1944 and burned down. Uh, it was rather common practice. Tali? A šite pa vidam vienu racien vēl, ne? So we will make some last control dig here and we'll move 100 kilometers away to, to the World War I site and we'll return here uh, at uh, another time when we get permission to dig under the pipeline.
Слушай. Вот тут, может, ты что, прокопаешь дырку между этих сосен? So, guys, uh, subscribe to our channel, not to miss any, any more live streams. And uh, when we finish digging here, we will... Uh, We'll uh, move to another site, to World War One site, where, as far as I understood, some soldiers are found. Uh, and uh, and then, if the salt coverage there is good, we'll make another live stream from there. Yes, we will have uh, most likely another stream today from World War One side, but uh, I'm not sure how good uh, uh, how good cell coverage is there. So make sure that you subscribe to our channel, not to miss it. And you can find us on Facebook as well and uh, like our page because uh, usually we put. Uh, Put some announcements uh, on the Facebook page prior to, uh, to live streams. So again, undisturbed ground here. So guys, here are our uh, Facebook and Twitter, make sure to follow us. Hopefully we will be back online in, uh, in about half an hour, two hours, because the World War One site is 100 kilometers away from here, and hopefully the cell coverage there is good. Make sure that uh, you subscribe to our channel and follow our Facebook page, and we will return to this site when we get uh, get full permission to work under the pipeline. Goodbye, guys.